Did you know plastic takes approximately 20% of the space in landfills? Paper takes approximately 40% of space in landfills. Did you know plastic takes approximately 500 to 1,000 years to biodegrade? Paper takes up to 100 years to biodegrade in very dry climate. Did you know this is reality? It is our responsibility to change this. Plastic bottles degrade at a slow rate and will increase toxic chemicals during the process. Alternative methods of disposal would be to incinerate the plastic, which releases harmful substances that will have a toll on our health due to the large amount of chemical pollutants and fossil fuels that are used to produce plastic. In 2008, an estimate of 2,480,000 tons of plastic bottles and jars were disposed. The repercussions from the myriad of chemicals released will be felt for generations to come. Students purchase massive amounts of drinks at the school. Many of these drinks are packaged in juice boxes. However, students do not know the ramifications of their actions. Juice boxes may look innocent on the outside, but are a total nightmare to recycle. These popular beverage holders are constructed of six layers of paper, polyethylene, which is a type of plastic, and aluminum foil. Finally, they're bonded with a special extrusion lamination which uses immense amounts of energy to fuse the materials together. To recycle these juice boxes, they must first be separated, which takes up too much time and effort as the materials have been fused together to such extent that is, it is nearly impossible to isolate the paper, plastics, and metal. As it takes such a great effort to separate these materials, most of these juice boxes will just end up in landfills despite its potential to be recycled. The best thing to do is to not consume such juice carton drinks. However, there are some packaged cartons that are especially designed to be recyclable from juice companies such as Tropicana. It is our responsibility to change this. We can cut down on the consumption of plastic bottles and juice cartons by bringing our own cups and mugs. We have the solutions. Now you can take the initiative to act. It is your duty as students to reduce the amount of unnecessary waste. Did you know? This is reality. It is our responsibility to change this. We can change this.